What's up guys, welcome back to another video. And today I'm just gonna drop a quick, quick comparison between the OnePlus 7 Pro and the Samsung Galaxy Note 10 Plus. Now these two phones are for two totally different users in my opinion, yes, they both are Android, but the beauty, the beauty part of Android is the different array of phones that they have for different consumers. You know, it's not just, here you go, here's your iPhone, uh, that's it, you know what I mean? If you don't like certain features of certain phones, then that's what I like about Android. It's because they focus more on the consumer part, part I guess, you know? Um, make bigger ones, smaller ones. They make ones with different features, so on and so forth, you know what I mean? At the end of the day, they are Android, so you can do probably a good chunk of things on any Android device that you can that you can on any Android device and there's a good chunk of things that you can do on your Android device that you can't do on an iPhone so just to, to focus on these two phones real quick if you don't know the specs by now I mean Snapdragon 855 uh, the OnePlus 7T Pro or OnePlus 7 Pro comes in three different variants uh, the 6 gig RAM 8 gig RAM and an 8 gig RAM um, as to where the Note 10 Plus comes in a 12 gig RAM uh, with 256 gigs of storage or 512 gigs of storage. Um, the the One Plus comes in the 6 gig variant comes with 128, and the other two come in 256. I mean, if you don't know these by now, I mean, look up a video. I mean, run down. The only good thing apart, uh, the only good thing that sets these two apart in storage is that the Note has expandable storage, and the Note or the OnePlus doesn't. Um, 90 hertz display versus a 60 hertz display. The OnePlus has a beautiful UHD 90 hertz display, and the Note 10 Plus has a 60 hertz display. You know, at you know, UHD also. Um, they're both Samsung panels, so the only time you notice a difference is when you hold them side to side. Um, yeah, the 90 hertz display is a lot smoother, a lot faster, a lot more responsive. But something about the 60 hertz display on the on the Note, and when you're watching videos or you know if you if everybody ha everybody ha that has a cell phone or I mean a smartphone nowadays is probably doing it for media consumption. It's just more immersive. It's better. I love the the screen on the Note. Um, something else that the OnePlus doesn't have is wireless charging or reverse wireless charging. To me, those things are just not that important in a certain sense, but sometimes when, when you finally use a feature that you never had, sometimes it really does make sense on why it's there. Um, the reverse wireless charging is kind of gimmicky, but if you have a Galaxy Watch and you're running out of juice and you're not at home, you're at work, you don't have a, a watch charger at work and you got a couple hours to go and you still got errands to run and you just want a little bit of juice and you're not using your phone, just flip it over, pop your watch behind on um, top of your phone. And just you know keep working for whatever amount of re you know whatever amount of time and then just you know I mean that's something that I've used personally so to me expandable storage the screen is more beautiful and just the, the to be able to have wireless charging and reverse wireless charging that right there gives it a win over the OnePlus in my opinion uh, both have dual speakers Honestly, the ones on the Note, for me anyway, they sound better. Uh, their implementation isn't just bottom and front facing. It's it's bottom and then up. It, the, the speakers on top of the phone and the way it travels through the back of the phone, even if you cover both speakers, you can still hear it coming out. So that's another win to me over the OnePlus. Um, fingerprint sensor is a lot better on the OnePlus. It's a lot smooth. It's a lot more responsive. As soon as you 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 put your finger on there, boom, unlocks. Um, I've still, you know, I even I even turned it off on my Note Plus on my Note 10 Plus because 
I just couldn't get used to it. I'd rather use just facial unlock or just swipe and pattern or just just swipe, you know. Um, the cameras, my bad. The cameras, the cameras on the Note 10 Plus, in my opinion, are just completely better than the, than the ones on the One Plus. I'm not saying the ones on the One Plus are bad because that was my daily driver for a, for a few months and I took some amazing pictures with that with that camera but overall well-rounded the note the note 10 plus is a way better camera especially with the video quality you know you have uh, just so many features and so many options just in the camera app then as, as opposed to the one plus 7 pros because the one plus 7 pros camera app is just basic down to the point kind of thing you kind of get lost a little bit on the in the notes but you have all these features to play around with if you want to choose them. Um, the selfie camera on the OnePlus 7 Pro, I think just for like regular pictures, I think that one's better than the one on Note 10 Plus. But that's just my opinion. Um, but overall, the experience you get on the camera on the on the Galaxy Note 10 Plus, way better in my opinion. Uh, what else? These two Android devices um, use different skins on top of Android um, in my opinion I've had OnePlus devices since the first one that came out because that was one of the huge one of the most important reasons for me was because of their uh, user interface was a lot smoother a lot faster received updates faster um, just cleaner you know it's just it was just better for me and then the ones on the on the on the on the Galaxy, they started off really rough. Everybody hated them. Everybody just that was the biggest downfall of Samsung was a user interface. Up until um, even before One UI came out, like right at like this S8 S9, right before it, One UI came out, it, it that's when it finally started getting smoother and nicer and better. Um, but now with One UI and with the heavy customizable. I mean, both of them are heavy customizable. Obviously, Android devices go to the Play Store, download a launcher if you want. But what I liked about the OnePlus is that I didn't need a launcher. I liked what they had, what they offered, and boom, I was done. Now, with the Galaxy, they have an app store. They have basically their own ecosystem. So they have an app store, they have a theme store, they have everything. So now, taking those basic tweaks that I used to make on the OnePlus, I'm taking them to a different level on my one, on my on my Galaxy Note 10 Plus. So, overall, two different Android devices, two different users. The the OnePlus is basic, simple, easy, great all-around phone, great camera, great battery life, great build, futuristic, 8 gigs of RAM. I mean, 8 gigs of RAM, 6 gigs of RAM, I think on the OnePlus are perfect for it. Um, you don't have expandable storage. You don't have an official IP rating. I mean, if you're switching from like an, a, a, an iPhone and you want to try Android, I would suggest going to the OnePlus. Um, if you want something stock-ish, updates faster, OnePlus. The Note is just a super productivity phone. It's a beast. You can do so much with it. You can even hook it up to a laptop, to a monitor, make it into your own computer. I mean, the features that the that the Note has are endless compared to the OnePlus, even though they both are Android devices. But just Samsung really, really stepped it up when it came down to their features not being as gimmicky as they were in the past. Um, the S Pen is another great, great feature I use all the time. Um, writing down notes, just anything I mean it's it comes in 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 so many it's very useful in very different situations so honestly if I have to give it a winner obviously it's Galaxy Note 10 Plus but like I said they're two different users a lot of people don't like Galaxy devices a lot of people prefer OnePlus devices because of how simple they are so which user are you is what depends on go to a T-Mobile play with both phones or go to a Sprint play with both phones and then just decide once you have them next to you which one's better for you till next one